Hey, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to our discussion and creative writing um, to all young 2A students. So before we begin with our actual discussion, which was actually given to you already, yun pong ating lecture guide, which I already assigned on the uh, Google Classroom. So ayun, again, before we start with our actual discussion, I would like to have a quick tamustahan muna sa bawat isa because I know that you have been dealing with a lot of things during the past weeks. And I know there's a lot of demands in uh, academics right now, most especially na sabay, ma, um, uh, research, paggagawa ng research paper, and ang upcoming na midterm examination ninyo. But hopefully that you are dealing with them well naman, kahit pa paano. Pero yun, sige, let's, uh, let me try to hear the side or how things have been previously. Let me see if I can help with something or in any way possible. Sige, um, how have you been previously? Let's ask, um, sino ba? Any volunteers would like to tell me how they've been feeling? Okay, yes, Catherine. Good afternoon po. Rinig po ba? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yun, midterm week po namin ngayon. Siyempre po, nag-aaral po kami mabuti kasi para po ano, makapasa. At sa research naman po, para po sa akin, mahirap, naman, mahirap po ito. Pero tinutulungan naman po ako ng mga panelists ko po, lalo na po si Ma'am Char, binibigyan po kami ng advice at step by step ko naman po itong nagagawa. Kasi need po namin ito para makaraduate. Ayun po. Thank you po. Okay, thank you, Catherine. So, ayun nga, alam pong stress talagang pagsabayin si research at saka si midterm exam. Pero sana naman, kayanin. Dahil wala tayo ibang choice kundi kayanin. <laughs> Sige. Any other person in the class who would like to share? Yes, Maxine, Ms. President. Good afternoon po, ma'am. Uh, bale, yun nga po, nakaka-stress kasi nga po, ay eh, sabay po yung nag aaral po namin for midterms and yun nga po, pinoconstruct po namin yung aming research paper. Pero yun nga po, uh, sa tulong po ng panelist ay naitataguyod naman po yung aming pong paper. Yun lang po. Okay. Uh, okay na ba yung tawag dito? Okay na yung mga schedule ninyo for your midterm examination? Nabigyan na ba kayo ng schedule for Thursday and Friday? Yes po, ma'am. Okay, sige. So, um, nga pala, um, Thursday, uh, kailan kayo mas marami exam? Thursday or Friday? Mas marami po sa Friday. Okay, sige. So hopefully naman ay, ano ba, kumpleto ng mga notes ang bawat isa dahil yun lang naman ang magiging sandigan ninyo for your uh, reviewing. So thank you, Max, for your um, sharing about what you've been uh, dealing with previously. Another one, last one, siguro bago tayo mag-start. Yes, Jethro. Ayun po, magandang hapon po, Miss. So, nung nagdaang linggo po is ayun, medyo naging mahirap din at stressful yung pagdating sa research paper. And then, tas ngayon is ito nga po midterm examination. Ano, tas nung nakaraan din po is may na-skip din ako ang classes kasi may inaasikaso po to Rizal Infanta, Rizal Infanta. Pero all goods naman po kasi nagtutulungan po yung group ko po. Thank you po. Okay, thank you, Jethro. Um, ayun ha, regarding sa research nga din pala, uh, mamaya mag-meet tayo after nitong meeting natin so that I could give you a few reminders regarding sa magiging progress ng research. Most especially, I think most of you are already on their surveys. And regarding uh, ano ba, sa pagiging absent, um, okay, na, okay lang naman na mag-absent. Ano, just make sure na nai-inform ang mga teachers, ang mga subject teachers ninyo kung bakit a-absent, bakit hindi makaka-attend ng synchronous or kung hindi makakapag-submit on time ng kanilang mga asynchronous na gawain. Uh, the teachers will be very understandable naman with that as long as mabibigyan nyo rin kami ng heads up kung uh, ano yung reason. Ano? Ayun, uh, para sa lahat. Baka kasi yung iba ay mga nagsastruggle, gano'n na hindi na kayang pagsabayin Okay lang naman, maintindihan naman namin as long as magsasabi ng uh, kung ano ba ang mga, uh, ano ang reason behind that. So hopefully the rest of you are also doing well. I know this is a very crucial time for everyone. 
kasi yun nga pagsasabay ng exam at pagkakandak ng survey since most of you are on that point already. But after this week naman, hopefully ay may, paun- may kaunting pahinga ang bawat isa bago sumabak uli for the finals or quarter three because you are only two quarters uh, uh, near to the end of um, uh, this semester bago kayo makagraduate. At konting-konti na lang yung dalawang quarters na yun. Napakabilis na panahon na nun, ilang buwan na lang yun at kapit lang ang bawat isa. So again, thank you very much for everyone for sharing how they've been feeling. The rest of you, alam nyo naman na kung may mga kailangang sabihin na importanteng mga bagay or anything they would like to share, pwede namang mag-PM na lang sa akin. So sige, let's move forward to our actual discussion for this synchronous meeting. So previously, we have discussed about a form of creative writing. We have um, dealt with the discussion of fiction. And fiction is a very broad category or a very broad concept to, uh, that we have discussed uh, previously in, uh, dito, during the past few weeks because we um, had at least three weeks yata na diniscuss siya. So now we are moving forward to another concept. But before we actually move forward to this new concept, I would just like to ask to um, take a look if most of you have, uh, uh, tawag dito, meron silang naaalala sa dami ng na-discuss natin previously regarding the concept or regarding the topic of fiction. So this will be just a quick ano lang, uh, look back or review kung ano ba ang mga naaalala or natutunan sa pagdi-discuss natin ng fiction. Sige, anyone would like to volunteer? Yes, James. Um, good afternoon po, Miss. Ma'am, ang natatandaan ko po from our previous discussion about fiction is yung elements of fiction po. Thank you po. Okay, thank you. Sige, can you kindly elaborate further doon sa may elements of fiction? Kahit hindi lahat. I know uh, medyo marami yon, pero anything that uh, you think was the emphasis or the highlight of that uh, discussion. Yes, I see you raising your hand, Ina. Miss, ako po ba or si James po? Ah, okay na si James. Ah, meron na siya. Nabigyan na, ah, nagbigay na siya ng pahapyaw regarding sa elements. Anything you would like to add on that? Okay po. So, regarding on what I remember sa, sub- sa past sub- uh, subject po natin na na-discuss is fiction is about uh, make-believe or invented stories that are made up of uh, words whether written or spoken. Tapos, dun po sa sinabi ni James, uh, nandun po yung plot, char- characters, point of views, na nagiging part po siya ng either plays or novels or fables. Yun lang po, miss. Thank you po. Okay, thank you very much, Ina and James, for your um, reminders regarding fiction. So, yes, that was the broad concept of fiction. Again, fiction is a concept uh, in which we're talking about mostly make believes and it is um uh, they have elements particularly plot characters dialogues setting um point of view and theme all of those elements when combined all together formulate what happens in the story of a fictional story so again ngayong meeting natin ngayong synchronous meeting natin will be moving forward to another concept. This new concept is already assigned to you as a lecture guide for your um, reading. So ngayon ay um, aalalahanin na lang natin yung mga highlights ng kung ano yung nabasa ninyo on your lecture guide. But before that, gusto kong ipresent muna sa inyo kung ano ang ating last week's standing. So para sa four groups, this was your current standing last week regarding your points. So, group 1, 62 points. Group 2 with 54 points. Group 3 with 70 points. And group 4 with 48 points. So, for last week, ang leading natin ay group 3 with 70 points. So, yung ibang grupo dyan ha, habol na yung meeting natin. Meron pa naman tayong ilang weeks bago matapos ang 
uh, semester. So, kaya pang habulin yan. So, I hope that everyone will become very participative with this discussion and the succeeding discussions that we will still have. So, again, like I said, this is the new concept that we are discussing. We are now dealing with another form of creative, uh, creative writing that is drama. So, before we proceed with the actual discussion ng kung paano ba magsulat ng drama, I'll uh, first be introducing to you what are the basics or what are the things that you need to be reminded with regarding drama. And yung mga madidiscuss natin for today's synchronous meeting, these are also things na na-discuss na natin previously on our subject, 21st century literature. So, this is just like, um, babalikan lang natin, but ayun nga, kasama pa rin talaga siya on the discussion of drama bago kayo mag-proceed sa actual writing. Pero yung actual writing na yun, sa mga susunod na meet pa natin, gagawin or i-discuss. So, drama, again, being a very broad term, marami pa tayong subconcepts na kailangan diyang malaman. And to introduce you with those subconcepts, I prepared a short activity na kung saan may ipepresent ako ng mga pictures. Yung mga pictures na yon, they are actually posters or um, covers of a lot of stage plays, um, ano ba, musicals, Broadway performances na meron tayo from the previous years hanggang sa ngayon. Now, what I would like you to do for this activity is I'll be showing you these pictures and then kindly raise your hand. Sabihin kung anong group manggagaling para ma-take note ng ating sekretary kung sino ang mga sasagot. Sabihin si group number at saka sabihin ang sagot. Kung ano ang title ng drama na ipinapakita sa inyong screen. So, ready na ba ang lahat? Kindly click to the like button. Kung okay na ba? Pwede, kung pwede na tayong mag-start. Okay, let me see. Okay. Okay, so I see that majority are already ready. So again, say your group number para hindi makalimutan ang pag-add natin ng score para sa tabulation natin ng standing. So let us start with our first poster. Yes. We have Joseph. Miss Group 2 po. Lay Miserab po. Let's see if this is Lay Miserab. Yes, that is correct. Thank you, Joseph. Let's proceed with the next one. How about this poster? Ano kaya yan? Clue. Our very own Miss Lea Salonga ay nandito sa may um, performance na ito dito sa may musical na yan. Anyone would like to answer? Joseph, naka-raise hand ka pa ba or naiwan mo lang? Naka-raise hand po. Ah, okay. Sige. Um, sige na. Since nauna, pare, ay hindi. Sige, let's have James this time. James. Ma'am, ano po? Miss Saigon? Let's see. Yes, that is correct. This one is Miss Saigon. The rest of you have, baka nakakalimutan na mag-lower ng hand ha para hindi din nakakalito. So yes, again, that's correct. We have Miss Saigon. Let's proceed with the next poster. How about this one? Ano kaya ito? Sige, let's have James again. Ma'am, yung kanina po pala is group 4. Ma'am, group 4 po ulit, um, Phantom of the Opera. Let's see if this is right. <laughs> that is correct as well. Thank you, James. This is the Phantom of the Opera. How about this one? 
Ano kaya ang title ng drama na ito? Yes, Pauline. Ma'am from group 2 po. The Cats po. Let's see. Yes, Cats. Acceptable. That is correct. Thank you, Pauline. Let's proceed with the next one. Oh, medyo madali yan. May clue na. <laughs> ano kaya itong drama na ito? Yes, let's have Ina. Ma'am, from group 2 po, uh, The Lion King. Let's see if this is The Lion King. Yes, that is correct as well. Thank you, Ina. Then let's have the next one. Okay, how about this one? Anyone is familiar with this? My clue na dito. Based on the songs of ABBA. I know you're all young. And siguro hindi nyo na naabot itong mga kanta nila. <laughs> Sige, let's have Joseph. Miss Group 2 po. Mama Mia po. Let us see if this one's Mama Mia. Yes, that is correct. This is from, this actually... Uh, one of the songs of ABBA. And may movie version din yan kung napanood na ninyo. Uh, but this was originally a... Um, ah, hindi pala. Originally na movie na adapted into a uh, theatrical performance. So thank you, Joseph. Next, this one. Ano kaya ito? What is this performance? Yes, Kersey. Anastasia po. Anastasia. Group number, Kersey. Group 3 po. Okay, let's see if group 3 got it right. Yes, that's correct. This one is Anastasia. Thank you, Percy. Next. One of my personal favorite. Okay, let's have Pauline. From group 2 po, Miss Dear Evan Hansen po. Let us see if group 2 got it right. That is correct. We have Dear Evan Hansen. Thank you, Pauline. Next one, this is, sino kaya ito? The little girl wearing red na mayroong curly hair. Ina, are you still raising your hand or nakalimutan din i-lower kanina? Anyone? Ina, are you raising your hand? Or ba nalimutan lang? Okay, sige. Baka hindi na rin. Okay, sige. Pauline. From group to po, let me Ani po. Let us see if Group 2 got it right again. Yes, that is correct. This one is Anne. Thank you, Pauline. How about this poster? Ano kayang title nito? Broadway's Big Fat Musical Comedy Hit. Yes, Kersey. From Group 3 po, ma'am. Hairspray po. Let's see if this is hairspray. That is correct. And this is our last Photo. Ano kaya ang title nito? Yes, let's have James. Miss Grid Group 4 po, um, Hamilton. Let's see if this is Hamilton. That is correct. So, thank you very much, James. Thank you very much for the other students who participated in our short activity at nag-contribute sa pag-add up sa kanilang scores. <laughs> so, all of those pictures that I've presented to you earlier, they are all part of the universe of drama. But just like what I've been mentioning earlier, drama is a very broad concept. It is not just a simple term na kaya natin i-define lang just by a single statement. Drama is actually also an umbrella term for a lot of different other sub-topics, sub-concepts. But let's see. Balikan ang 
nabasa sa lecture guide kung ano ang mga naintindihan nun. What is drama? How would you define drama? Anyone from the class? Yes, Frenny. Good afternoon po. I am from group number one po. And uh, based po sa natutunan ko last time, um, ang definition po ng drama is drama is a sort of interpretation that is expressed via dialogue and performance. It is a literary genre that is a form of play that is written for the stage, television, radio, and film. Okay. Thank you, Frenny. So yes, that's a very comprehensive definition of drama. Drama is, of course, it is a form of creative writing or uh, it is meant to be performed. Although it is written, initially a drama is obviously uh, written, but it is not meant to stay as a written output. Unlike yung mga nababasa natin sa libro, unlike poetry, a drama is meant to be performed. That is uh, significantly what sets it apart from other forms of creative writing. But let's try to see. Let's delve deeper. Let's try to identify ano ba yung mga characteristics na meron ang drama. Sige. Can you tell me what are the... Uh, can you give me at least one characteristic of drama? Yes, Eliza. Good afternoon po, Miss. Unlike po in fiction, drama is told through dialogue and action and integrated with the setting of it. It also designed po to be acted out on a stage before an audience which brings a story to life before our eyes. Thank you, Eliza. From what group nga ulit? Baka malimutan natin. From group 4 po. Okay, thank you, Eliza. Sige, another characteristic of drama. Then we'll try to synthesize later kung ano ba ang mga binigay ninyo. Yes, Kersey. Group 3 po, ma'am. Dramas are meant to be performed by actors and actresses po. Okay, sige, thank you. So let's try to synthesize all the definitions, the characteristics that you have given. So again, drama is not meant to stay as a written output. Although yes, sinusulat natin siya initially, but what is written will then be performed by what we call actors and actresses. And itong mga actors and actresses, hindi nila basta babasahin yung isang bulto ng paragraph na makikita nila on a script. The performance that they do, usually on stage, they are done through dialogues. And ayun nga, sinabi din kanina na a drama is meant to be performed. So, the question now is, saan ba natin pinaperform or paano ba natin pinaperform ang drama? That is also on your lecture guide in which we identify three ways on how we perform drama. Let's start with the first one. Anyone who could try to identify this uh, first way on how we usually perform a drama? Yes, Lourdes. Good afternoon po, Miss. Ma'am, yung stage play po is um, play or perform written to be performed on stage rather than broadcast or made into a movie. Stage play are those performed on any stage before an audience po. Okay, so thank you, Lourdes. From what group nga ulanin? Miss Group 1 po. Okay, thank you, Lourdes. So, stage play. Of course, from the word itself, we have stage. So, these are performances that are performed right at uh, the stage. Kung saan, merong kaharap na live audience. Stage performances like the one that you're seeing, katulad ano uh, example natin kanina, I think this one is Annie. Nandito yung live performances ng mga actors and actresses na kung saan, Ang stage play, it actually it's a very demanding kind of performance. Kasi imagine ninyo, di ba, kapag stage play ang pinag-uusapan natin, yung mga actors and actresses natin, kailangan sa uluhin nila yung mga linya, kailangan alam nila yung mga blocking na ginagawa nila on stage. Then, minsan nga, sa mga stage play natin, hindi lang siya basta dialogue ang ginagawa. Kapag sinabi natin dialogue, usually it's just an exchange of lines. It's just an actual conversation. Pero meron din namang mga stage play na hindi lang basta dialogue or linya lang talaga ang binibigkas or kanilang mga binabangin. A stage play may also come in the form of this one. What do you think is being shown here? Anong uh, klase ng performance ang ginagawa kaya dito? 
we have here on the picture, we have our very own Miss Leah Salonga. This one is also uh, from our example earlier, Miss Saigon. Sige, can you try to elaborate on this? Yes, Pauline? Miss from group to po, based po dun sa nakapresent po sa screen, yung first form po natin ay musical, wherein actors and actresses perform it po by singing, pero meron pa rin pong dialogue na involved dun sa pagpe-perform. Thank you, Pauline. Yes, that is correct. Nabanggit ni Pauline kanina na, unlike yung sa stage play natin na puro dialogue lang talaga, dito sa musical, ang pinag-uusapan na natin ay merong incorporated na nakantahan. Na kung saan, di ba ito nga, example natin si Lea Salonga, she, ang expertise niya ay itong mga nasa musical, katulad itong sa Miss Saigon, kung saan gumanap siya uh, as the uh, main character of Kim. Hindi lang yan. Kilala din natin si Lea Salonga for Les Miserables, kung saan gumanap siya bilang si Eponine at saka si Fantine. Dito din sa mga musical natin naririnig yung mga Broadway na kanta na tinutukoy natin. If you're familiar with On My Own, yung sa Les Miserables, kung alam niyo yung ano pa ba, You Will Be Found ng Dear Evan Hansen, uh, ng Burn, ng Hamilton, all of those songs, yung mga kilala nating kanta, they are from musicals. But still, ayun nga, they are a uh, form of stage play Pero ang pinagkaiba niya, pinagkaiba niya lang with an actual stage play, with a uh, plain play, merong kasama na kanta. And usually itong mga kanta na ginagamit, they are, they are still part of the plot. Hindi lang sila ginagawa, hindi lang sila kuma, hindi na kumakanta ang mga actors and actresses natin dahil wala lang, trip lang nila. Kumakanta sila because what they are expressing on the song is part of the story. So bukod sa musical, meron pa tayong isang form of stage play. This one. This is a bit similar actually with musical, but still merong taunting pinagkaiba. Can you try to differentiate or distinguish the difference of the two? Yes, Alia. Ma'am, ano po? in a form of opera po, a theatrical piece that tells a story through music po. And the words are primarily sung by singers po. And in addition din po, ano, mostly po ng mga opera plays are in European countries po. Thank you, Aliyah. So yes, nabanggit kanina ni Aliyah yung tungkol sa kantahan. Ang opera natin, meron din siyang kantahan, just like a musical. But the difference here is that the driving force of the entire performance in an opera is the singing part. Although mayroong kaunti na dialogue, but let's say na in an opera, there is 10% dialogue, 90% singing. And yung addition din kanina ni Aliya na kalimita ng mga opera, they are performed in European countries. Unlike musicals sa Pilipinas, meron tayong sarili nating musical. Yung huling El Bimbo, kung alam niyo yun, nakasagsagan ng lockdown, di ba? Tapos, ano pa ba? Um, in the Philippines, we have that. Sa Amerika, napakarami din nating kilala ng mga musicals. But itong mga operas na ito, since they originated much earlier, as early as 1900s, they are, uh, these are performances na umuso in European countries. Particularly, Germany, France, and the likes. Yung mga ganoong bansa. And kung nakikita din ninyo sa mga opera, ganyan din yung mga, ah, ganyan kalimitan yung kanilang mga damit, yung mga pang bongga, yung mga naka-ball gown. Kasi kalimitan ng mga storya is situated in uh, the Regency period, mga Victorian era, ganun. So that is an opera. That, uh, yun yung karakteristik na meron ang opera na kakaiba din naman sa musical. But those two, opera and musical, they are performed as a stage play. So we already distinguished, the, uh, we already identified the first way on how we perform a drama, which is the stage play. Let's proceed with the second form on how we perform a drama. Obviously, we have here Stranger Things. Then we also have Hereditary. Ano kaya yung karakteristik na meron sa kanilang dalawa that makes this another as another form of how we perform drama. Anyone? Yes, Joseph. 
Miss Good Afternoon from Group 2 po. Screenplay po, which is known for its motion picture po. And it is performed by actors and actresses po. Tsaka po ma'am, it is meant to be presented on television po or in cinemas. Thank you, Joseph. So yes, meron tayong example ng series. Meron tayong example ng movie. Yang mga yan, they are performed in either uh, ano ba, sa TV, pwede din natin napapanood natin, pwede napapanood din natin yan sa mga sinehan, pwede napapanood natin on Netflix. But the similarity of those three things kung saan man natin siya napapanood is that, again, these serve as motion pictures. Now, although they are also performed by actors and actresses, still, alam naman natin na kapag ka, um, ang mga movie, kapag ang mga series, ito yung mga matagal na pinaghahandaan. At hindi natin yan pinapanood as a live audience. Instead, we are watching that. We are watching this through uh, screens. Hence, the term screen play. So, ayun. This is another form on how drama is presented. Again, balikan natin kanina. Stage play, live, performa live performance, live audience ang nanonood. Nakikita natin sa unahan kung sino ang mga actors and actresses natin. Then we have the second one, we have screenplay. Napapanood natin ang actors and actresses through screen. We also have the third one or the third way on how we perform drama. On how drama is performed. This one. Ano kaya itong pangatlong yan? Very obvious na sa picture kung nasaan sila, but try to identify anong, uh, paano ba pinaperform itong drama na ito. Yes, David? Good afternoon po, Ms. Audible po ba ako? Yes. Ma'am, I am for, from group 3 po, and as far as I remember po, this is a radio play po. Similar to stage play po, actors and actresses are present. However po, they are not seen on stage po. No visual components po, and only depends on dialogue po. We can differentiate the actors and the actresses po depending on their voices. Po. Thank you, David. So yes, we have radio play or may also be termed as uh, radio drama. So ano naman ang ginagawa sa isang radio drama? Meron pa rin tayong actors and actresses. Meron pa rin tayong mga dialogues na ginagamit. Kaya lang ang pinagkaiba na ng radio drama doon sa naunang dalawa is that dito boses lang ang puhunan. Nag-uusap-usap ang mga characters natin pero hindi natin sila nakikita. Naririnig lang natin sila. Meaning to say, the emotions that they are trying to tell us, kailangan marinig na natin yon just by their voices. If you have been um, listening, if you're still listening to radio, tayo ko, sa mga parents din ninyo kung nakikinig pa sila ngayon, every Sunday yata yon meron pa rin mga um, radio plays na maririnig ninyo. Usually, ayun yung mga style na may nagsisend ng mga message sa DJ natin. Tapos, tapos merong mga mag-act out noong uh, mga eksena na tinutukoy doon sa may letter na sinin. Wala. Para lang ma-act uh, out or ma-voice out, rather, kung ano yung uh, storya ni sender. Hanggang ngayon, meron pa rin ganyan talaga. Although hindi na siya masyadong uso, dahil nga with the advent of other forms of, the, of how drama is presented, uh, totoo naman na masikat ngayon ang screenplay at saka uh, mga stage play. Ayun. Hindi man, uh, hindi man sikat na sikat ngayon si radio play, radio drama. Pero at least, meron pa rin gumagawa niya. So, these are the three ways on how we present drama. Again, can you try to summarize yung tatlo? Ano ba yung tatlong forms of drama natin? Kung paano, na, kung paano sila pineperform? Just a short summary. Stage play, screenplay, at saka si radio drama. Anyone who can summarize them? Kahit sige isang sentence lang. Anyone? Sige, dahil naiwan ni Joseph na naka-raise hand. Joseph? Good afternoon po, Miss. From group 2 po. 
ang natatandaan ko po is yung stage play po. Then next po is screenplay. Then next po yung radio drama. Okay. Can you try to give a short statement kung ano ang meron doon sa tatlong um, forms of performances na yon? Sige, anyone? Kahit hindi isang statement lang. Anong meron sa stage play? Anong meron sa screenplay? Anong meron sa radio drama? Anyone? Yes, Pauline? Good afternoon po, Miss. From group 2 din po. Yung sa last po, sa radio drama, like, yung sinabi niyo po, bu- boses lang po yung puhunan doon, kaya hindi po sila nagpe-perform sa stage. Unlike po ng mga uh, stage plays. You know. Okay. Sige. How about um, other things you would like to add up on stage play and screenplay? Any other hands? Yes, Alia? Yung ang natatandaan play po ay more on Med, uh, nawala yata ni ulit. Sorry. Ma'am, ang natatandaan ko po sa stage play ay more on musical po. And yung sa screenplay po ay pinapalabas sa mga TV and cinemas. And yung radio play po ay, ayun nga po, sabi po ni Pauline, boses po ang puhunan doon. Ayun po. Thank you, Alia. Thank you, Pauline and Joseph for your um, contributions. So, ayun, again ha. Just to synthesize everything para mas maalala ng bawat isa, stage play, pineperform sa unahan, pwede siyang musical, pwede din siyang opera. Then we have screenplay, pinapanood natin as motion pictures sa mga television, sa mga sinihan, through a screen. And lastly, radio play, still performed by actors and actresses, pero in a radio booth, or talagang boses lang ang naririnig natin sa kanila kung paano nila pinaperform yung drama na yun. So those are the different ways on how we perform a drama. Gone are the days ha, na akala ng bawat isa pag sinabing drama, um, yung basta iyakan lang, yung mga drama na napapanood lang natin sa TV. Hindi. Ito yun ha. These are, uh, are the things that we consider as those subtopics under drama para mawala na yung notion natin na ganun na ayun pala meron palang ibang paraan pa kung paano pine-perform si drama pwede palang nasa stage siya pwedeng nasa TV pwedeng sa Netflix na papanood ko pwede din palang nasa radio so i have here a picture i don't know if you've seen this mask before but this mask represent drama these masks represent what happens or what kinds of stories are present in dramas. Makikita natin dito, merong naka-frown, may naka-sad face, at merong smiling face. Let's try to identify the first of the mask that we see here. Doon muna tayo sa may naka-sad na mask. Sige, can you try to elaborate ano kaya ang, uh, what does this mask represent? Yes, Janel. Miss from Group 1 po. Isa po sa representation ng drama is si Mel Fomin po. Siya po is the quick news of tragedy. And siya din po yung nakaparang sad face po dun sa dalawa pong mask. Ang tragedy genre po is nagpapakita po na human suffering, mga unhappy and sorrowful events po na nararanasan ng mga characters po sa story. And usually po characters dies at the end po. Thank you, Janelle. So yes, we have the first mask, yung naka-frown. We have here, melpomine. Melpomine represents tragedy and drama. Pag sinabi natin, tragedy, although ang una natin maiisip ay yung mga pangit na ending, still it comes in many forms. Ano klase ng pangit na ending yan? Pwedeng hindi nagkatuluyan yung uh, babae at yung lalaki. Pwedeng... Um, uh, bumagsak ang isang dynasty, po pwede din naman na merong namatay, na main character, even just a side character, 
pwede din naman na uh, ano ba? Pwedeng nagkaroon ng personal loss ang isang character. So again, the first mask here represents tragedy. We have melpomene. Meron din tayo contrasting melpomene. We have the smiling mask. Anyone who could try to identify this mask and ano ang nire-represent niya? Yes, Hennessy. Good afternoon po, Miss. I'm from Group Kripo. And the other one naman po is from Talia that represents for comedy. And comedy po is humorous and end in a good note or happy ending po. Okay. Thank you, Hennessy. Yes, this is the contradiction of uh, Melpomene. We have Talia. Talia represents comedy. Pag sinabi natin comedy, ang unang papasok naman sa isip natin ay humorous, nakakatawa. Well, yes, Pasok din siya na mga klase ng storya under comedy. But still, ang pinag-uusapan natin din sa comedy ay those stories that end up on a good note or end up in a happy ending. Posible na um, nagkatuluyan yung bida. Posible uh, nag-prosper ang isang pamilya. Posible na... Ano ba? Posible na... Naging... Uh, nanalo sa war ang uh, bida natin. So, yun yung mga examples natin ng comedy. Not necessarily humorous stories, but those that end up on a good note. Again, we have melpomene, we have talim. Usually, itong mga mask na to, makikita nyo siya sa mga theaters. Kaya lang, sa ngayon kasi, hindi na uso yung mga, uh, ano ba, let's say, yung mga traditional na theater na kung saan yung dalawang mask na yan ang una ninyong makikita sa entrance. Sa ngayon, napakarami na natin mga modern theaters na kung saan nagpa-perform ng mga stage play. Just like this one. Familiar ba kayo sa lugar na to? This one is in America. Pagka sinabi natin itong lugar na to, may isip agad na, ah, dito maraming pinaperform ng mga musicals. Anyone who's familiar of this place, Meron ba? This one is in New York. Yes, James? Ma'am, di po ako sure, pero yun po ba yung New York Times Square? Yes, oh, tama. That's right. This one is in New York, New York Times Square. But we're specifically talking about a particular place here within uh, the streets of New York Times Square kung saan makikita natin itong sangkaterbang mga theaters. Kung saan maraming mga pinaperform ng mga stage plays, ng mga musicals. Anyone? This one starts with the letter B. Anyone is familiar with this place? Siguro dahil hindi pa nakakarating, baka kaya hindi pa familiar dito sa lugar na ito. Pero kundi naman, hindi pa rin ako nakakarating dyan. Pero yes, sige, learn this. Miss, Broadway po ba? Yes, that is correct. Thank you, learn this. From what group? Miss, group 1 po. Okay, thank you. So, this place is what we call Broadway. Uh, yes, this one is in New York. Pero yun nga, ang specific na tawag dito ay Broadway. When we're talking about Broadway, this is a particular street in New York kung saan yung Broadway na yan maraming mas maliliit pang mga theaters. Hindi yung Broadway ang mismong ano ha, ang mismong theater. Although may pa, meron ding theater talaga na Broadway ang pangalan. Pero Broadway is generally generally speaking yung isang buong street. Tapos dun sa isang buong street na yon, marami pang mga theaters kung saan may iba't ibang pinapalabas na mga performances. Sa Broadway, kadalasang pinapalabas, ano ba, ito yung mga sikat na nakikita ninyo. Sa picture, we have Wicked, we have Jersey Boys, we have Phantom of the Opera, Rock of Ages, si Lea Salonga natin, nagpa-perform na rin dyan, si Rachel Ango. Ayan. Again, this is what we call Broadway. Although hindi na uso nga uh, ngayon yung traditional looking ng mga theater na sobrang liliit, ayun. This one is a more modernized version of theaters that we have. Again, this one is in Broadway. This one can be found in America. Pero meron din namang counterpart ang Broadway in London, which is, I think this, uh, this one is lesser known. 
since mas kilala ng mga tao ang Broadway. This one's uh, located in um, London. This is what we consider, what we call um, West End. Kung ang New York merong Broadway Street, ang London naman meron silang West End. Sa West End, nandyan din yung mga theaters na kung saan maraming mga pineperform na iba't ibang plays. Ito si Katlito, Les Miserables, um, ano Miss Saigon, and other like. So ayan, these are the places kung saan makakakita tayo ng maraming mga theaters na kung saan pineperform ang mga stage plays natin. Either in a form, uh, hindi pala either, in a form of musical. Since ang opera natin, kung maitatanong nyo nga pala, they are separately played in, uh, at tawag dito, in a more um, specific na place called an opera house. Kung alam ninyo yung Sydney Opera House sa Australia, ayun, yung lugar na yun, uh, that is uh, specifically for um, opera performances. Pero itong mga nandito, kadalasan ay mga musicals lang ang piniplay sa kanila. So supposedly, um, tawag dito, we're going to, uh, supposedly you are to uh, search for theaters that you know of, pero instead, of that, uh, instead of you searching for uh, theaters, I prepared here a, a virtual field trip for everyone kung saan I'll be showing you a uh, 360 view of a uh, theater. Okay, let me stop sharing this first. I'll be sharing to you a virtual tour of a theater just so you would have an idea kung ano ba ang itsura ng loob ng isang theater if you haven't been to one. In the Philippines, we actually have our own theaters. Meron tayong CCP, Cultural Center of the Philippines. Meron doon mga nag-perform uh, ng mga musicals. Tapos meron din ngayon yung bagong bukas na um, met, yung Metropolitan Theater. Meron din yun. But this one is Theater Severn. Let me start sharing again. Ayan, so this is basically what a common theater looks like. This one is Theater Severn. So let's try to see. Let's have a short walkthrough. Kung ano ba ang itsura niyan sa loob. Let's go. Let's zoom. Lagpas pala tayo sa hagdan. Wait lang. <laughs> Ayan. Unfortunately kasi wala tayong capabilities ngayon to go to an actual place na kung saan uh, makikita ninyo kung ano talaga ang loob ng isang theater. Pero ito, I think okay na itong virtual tour natin. Just so you would have an idea. So, we have here the second floor of the theater kung saan nandito na yung entrance talaga 
sa theater, dun sa mismong auditorio. So we have here the first one, the first entrance that we have kasi malaki yung ano eh, yung auditorium nila. So let's see, let's zoom in. Sorry, baka mahilo kayo ha. So this is basically what an auditorium looks like. So it's actually big. Malaki na ito sa, lag, uh, sa lagay na yan. And it's actually, uh, it actually has at least 1,500 seating capacity. Ayan. Ganyan kapag ka malapit sa stage. Tapos dito sa baba, marami ng upuan. Pero sa taas, meron pa din. Ito yung tinatawag natin na balcony. Depende sa uh, yung price na babayaran diyan ng mga tao sa panonood, depende sa kanilang location. Ang alam ko, syempre mas mahal kapag ka nandito sa baba kasi mas malapit. Tapos dito sa unahan makikita ninyo parang merong separate, 'di ba? May separate na mga upuan diyan. Kapag ka ang stage play ay hindi nangangailangan ng orchestra or kung hindi naman siya musical, ginagamit to na upuan ng audience. Pero kapag ka ang performance sa isang musical, tinatanggal itong first at saka second row of chairs. Tapos papalitan siya ng tinatawag natin na orchestra pit. Yung orchestra pit na yun, nandun yung mga tumutugtog. Nandun yung conductor natin, nandun yung mga nagbabayulin, yung may mga hawak ng instruments. So there, hindi tayo makakaakit sa stage eh. So this one is the bigger auditorium sa loob ng Theater Severn. Then let's try to exit. Punta tayo sa isa pang auditorium sa loob ng theater na ito. Labas na tayo dito. Okay. Let's try to look for the other theater. Ayun. This is the other, sorry, na interchangeably use ko pala. The auditorium. Yung auditorium yung mismong loob. Ayan. This one is the smaller auditorium naman dun sa theater, si Vern. Although wala siyang stage talaga, but still, ito yung consider na nila na place of performance. Ayan. O. Unlike dun sa isa, di ba, may stage talaga siya. So this one is the smaller um, auditorium nila. Mas maunti naman yung seating capacity niya dyan. So, yes. Ay, sarado pala yung pintuan doon. <laughs> Balik tayo. So, basically, that is what theaters look like. So, ito, isa lang ito sa napakaraming theaters na meron sa buong mundo. Meron pa tayo uh, Globe Theater na kung saan nag perform na mga Shakespeare plays. Meron din tayong, ano ba, uh, yun nga, mga theaters uh, along Broadway. Tapos sa Pilipinas, meron din tayong CCP, Cultural Center of the Philippines. Meron din tayong Metropolitan Theater. So, hopefully, ay meron na rin kayong experience na makapasok sa isang theater, sa isang auditorium na kung saan ang pinapanood ninyo ay hindi isang screenplay, although drama din yun, kundi isang stage play. Kasi iba din yung feeling kapag ka stage play na ang pinapanood ninyo sa loob ng isang auditorium. So do you have any questions regarding our topic today? Do you have any question, guys? Wala naman po, miss. Okay. So I hope that is for everyone, that answer. Pero just so I can confirm that, let me once again share my screen. Let us now move forward to our and before you leave, let's move forward to our exit ticket. So I'll be sending the link of uh, Socrative para sa inyong exit ticket to answer three questions regarding what you learned for today's, uh, for our topic for this synchronous meeting. Okay. 
I'll send here on the chat. Ayan. I already sent it and kindly click on the link. Then, kapag ka na-click nyo na, kindly type in the room name, char1739. At pagka na-input nyo na yung room name, lalabas na doon yung questions natin for the exit ticket. Char And then, as you are answering, I will be seeing the live results. Wait lang pala ha. Baka hindi nyo pa pala nakikita yung ano, exit ticket. Ayan. Okay na ba, guys? Nakikita na ba? Ayan. I'm seeing your names. So, going back to the question for number three. In one word, how will you describe learning about the subconcepts of drama? Miss, pwede pong pabalik na sa last question. Okay. Thank you po. In one word, how will you describe learning about the subconcepts of drama? Okay, so I'm seeing replies or responses already regarding uh, pertaining to your answers on our exit ticket. Alam pong meron pa kayong klase ngayon and I won't hold you any longer for this. Let me just wait for the rest of the responses after this synchronous meeting. Pero kindly finish ha, your answers for the exit ticket. But with that, Thank you very much for being here on our synchronous meeting. Thank you very much, Yums 2A. And I will meet you all again next meeting for another synchronous uh, discussion. Then, yung mga uh, inassign ko na activities for the asynchronous meets, I kindly do it. So, thank you very much, Yums 2A, for being here on our uh, synchronous discussion. Thank you. Thank you for me. Thank you then for me. Thank you for me. Thank you for mom.